Martin likes to make flower bouquets that have that each have three violets and four tulips. If the price of a violet is V and the price of a tulip is T, match the expressions to their meanings. So let's see, the price of one of Martin's bouquets. So one of Martin's bouquets has three violets and four, four tulips. So the three violets are going to cost three times the price of the violet, which is V. So that's the cost of the violets, three V. And then the four tulips are going to cost four times the price of a tulip. So it's four T. So it's three V plus four T. So it's not this one. Let's see, this one right over here. This is four T plus three V. So this is the price of four tulips, four times the price of a tulip plus three times the price of a violet. The price of three of Martin's bouquets. So it's essentially going to be three times this quantity right over here. This is the price of one bouquet. We want three of them. So it's going to be three times the quantity, 4t plus 3v. And let's see, if I were to actually multiply this out, three times 4t is 12t, and then plus three times 3v is 9v. So this is the same thing if I were to distribute the three is 12t plus 9v. Well, that's this right over here. These two are equivalent expressions. And let's see, are any of these other things equivalent? No, this is three times 3t plus 4v. So I'm going to put this in the not used bucket. And then I have, let's see, 3v plus 2t. This is, I'm going to put in the not used bucket. Not used bucket. And let's see, this has 2v plus 4t plus v. So if I were to simplify this, if I were to combine the, the v terms, if I have two v's and I add another v, that's three v's plus four t. So this is actually the same thing as the price of one of Martin's bouquets. So you could view this as the price of two violets plus the price of four tulips plus another violet. So it's really the price of three violets and four tulips. So let's check our answer. We got it right.